now to the North Carolina U.S. Senate race. Republican Congressman Ted Budd won the election over Democrat Sherry Beasley. And this was a race many people were keeping an eye on. Budd's victory will play a role in determining the balance of power in our nation's capital. Hunter Science reports. Good morning, I'm Hunter Science in Winston-Salem where Ted Budd is now the next senator from North Carolina. The race was tight all night until he claimed victory right before midnight when the race was called. He will join his now Republican colleague, U.S. Senator Tom Tillis in D.C. The crowd here very excited about it as he took a lead around 10 o'clock Tuesday night and Sherry Beasley just could not catch up. We'll send it back to you. Now coverage continues in the Palmetto State. Republican Governor Henry McMaster was reelected for a second term. And Channel 9 South Carolina reporter Tina Terry has more on his historic win. And Governor Henry McMaster took the stage tonight and called it a great night for South Carolina. He told the audience that his track record really helped him pull off that win, talking about economic achievements like bringing more businesses to the state of South Carolina. Now, this is a historic win for McMaster. If she finishes out this term, he will be the longest serving governor in the history of the state of South Carolina. Reporting from Columbia, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Our Erica Jackson picks up our coverage with the message from Governor Henry McMaster's opponent, Joe Cunningham. Yeah, Tina, people here in the audience, they were wiping their tears as Joe Cunningham and his running mate, Talon Casey, were up on stage. But they cheered when Cunningham talked about his effort to legalize medical marijuana and sports betting, uh, raise teacher pay, and to expand women's reproductive rights. Cunningham says he's proud of his campaign in an effort to bring what he called new blood to the Palmetto State. He thanked his supporters during his 25 minute concession speech. He says he wishes the night ended differently in his fight to change South Carolina. Even though we had our differences with, with Governor McMaster and his team, I can tell you that, that each and every person on our team was always fighting for the betterment of South Carolina and building a state that we could all be proud of. Cunningham wrapped up his speech by saying it's been an honor to carry his message across the state and reassured supporters his best days are ahead of him. In Charleston, South Carolina, Erica Jackson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now to the key races across the country. The ballot count continues this morning and control of Congress remains on the line. ABC's Justin Finch is tracking the important races. A major win overnight. ABC News projecting Democrat John Fetterman as the winner of Pennsylvania's open Senate seat. I never expected that we were going to turn these red counties blue. And tonight, that's why I'll be the next U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania. Fetterman's fitness for office questioned after suffering a stroke last spring. The lieutenant governor now defeating Trump-backed Republican Mehmet Oz after mega endorsements from Oprah, former President Obama, and President Biden. The Pennsylvania pickup seen as key for Democrats in a battle for control of the Senate chamber. Candidates in other key Senate races still hopeful they will pull out wins. We always knew that this race would be close. And so... Here, that's where we are. Senate Democrat Raphael Warnock locked in a neck and neck race for re-election against Republican challenger Herschel Walker. If you can hang in, hang in there a little bit longer. If neither Walker nor Warnock gets 50%, they will face a runoff election next month. It is clear that we are going to take the House back. <laughs> Republicans predicting a red wave on election night, but ABC's John Carl says results are bearing out otherwise. It's nowhere near the night they thought they were going to have, and it's not a certainty that they're going to take the House back. 
And exit polling shows young voters have been decisive in this election, overwhelmingly backing Democrat candidates in House races and largely choosing abortion over the economy as their top issue. And in that crucial Georgia Senate race, they're backing Democrat Raphael Warnock. On Capitol Hill, I'm Justin Finch, ABC News. And we do want to remind you that your local results will be scrolling at the bottom of your screen all morning. So you can also keep up with those results on our WSOC TV app as well as WSOCTV.com. Just look for them right on our homepage.